morning it's just about getting light and this morning we're going to do something a little bit different we're going to go and check out the worm beds and see if there's any lug worms um, hopefully we're going to find some lunch as well if you've not done this before you're not familiar with walking through estuaries um, don't do it because it's uh, fraught with um, danger and difficulties and the coast guards have got enough to do without fishing us out of uh, life-threatening situations so uh, yeah but I'm out here so um, we'll go and see what we can find what I will say is we've only been running about three or four weeks now so thank you ever so much for subscribing I think there's about 90 subscribers so that's, um, that's amazing so I'm really happy with that so thank you ever so much for your support Right, let's go and have a look, see what we can find. Right, it's a bit windy, but we're on a little muddy bank on the edge. And if you can see all that honeycomb type holes, they're wrigglers or harbour ragworm dog's footprint as well. But in there will be wrigglers, harbour ragworm, whatever you want to call them. And they like the stickiest, horriblest mud you can find. So I'll try and dig one up and show you what they look like. Well, we've quickly dug a couple up, so that's what they look like. Tiny little red ragworms, probably about two or three inches long. Make really good baits, all the fish eat them. You just need a lot of them and it's a uh, sticky or muddy work. But we'll, um, we'll see if we can find some lugworm now. Um, when you look back behind us, that's the problem. All these little gullies they only look shallow but in about an hour and a half's time the water's going to come rushing in here behind me well it won't be behind me because I'll have uh, made tracks out of here but um, yeah you don't want to be out here when that comes in behind you because um, that's game over right I've moved over onto some harder sand um, to show you a lugworm someone at work asked me um, how to dig a lugworm up so what you've got is this is um, get out that's the um, tail of the of the lugworm underneath and there if you can just see that is the breather hole so a lugworm in the sand will be that's the that's the cast that's the breather hole and the lugworm will be somewhere in a loop like that so as long as you dig up between the cast and the breather hole the worm should be straight underneath it so we'll try and dig him up if the dog don't help and um, yeah we'll see if we can find one well it wasn't very big but it was a lugworm there's lots of them out here but it changes all the time um, we're gonna get some big tides in September and that normally puts pay to them they move somewhere or die or something because it's uh, from September onwards it's rock hard trying to find them but they're here at the moment and they will always be in the little pools and stuff so there should be enough to for me to get some bait throughout the winter just getting the tides right because you haven't got the daylight hours so anyone that comes out here and digs these for a living um, they earn their money shall we say well, someone's obviously been out here yesterday because um, they've had a few out of the edge of this gully if you run up here full of little winkles and shells and detritus but as you move into the water there's quite a few worm casts in there soon get washed away by the rain but they're under there stony gritty old ground um, not very appealing in the um, middle of January so if you've got a good bait digger look after him well, I couldn't come out here without trying to find something to eat so sometimes when you find these little gullies and there's cockle shells everywhere it's worth having a rake around just to see what you can find Cockles. Get off! Ugh. Leave them alone, you're not having them. So yeah, I'm going to try and get a feed of them now. Just disappear, will you? Yeah. We've managed to get some uh, good-sized cockles, enough for what I want anyway. 
dog's uh, wet as a rat. It's just gone five o'clock in the morning and it's chucking it down. It hadn't rained for months and I decided to do something in the middle of nowhere with no coat. And, and um, yeah, now I'm drenched. But yeah, those cockles were in one tiny little area. You can walk for ages out here and find nothing. And then um, you hit a little spot and there's some good ones. So they'll taste good. I'll see what else we can find. And we're back up on the on the muddy bank where them little harbour ragworms were. And on the north side, there's these little holes. And that is when the crabs are starting to peel or they're looking for somewhere to shed their shell. They'll go up in there and that's where they'll do it. But they're, they're good sanctuary spots for crabs and stuff anyway. But at the moment there's nothing peeling and I'm not going to dig them up and disturb them. Um, but yeah, there's a few along here. Little crevices in the mud and um, thousands of um, little harbour ragworm will be under there. But that is not fun to dig up. Is it, dog? Well, as I was coming off the marsh, I decided to veer a bit off the beaten track, try and sight find this stuff. This is samphire or samphire. Poor man's asparagus, I think some people call it. Whatever it's called, it tastes nice. Well, I'm gonna steam that and have that with the cockles. There's a few bits here. Nice bushy stuff. So, yeah, we'll have that. Well, we've managed to do all right this morning. We've got a little bit of samphire, um, good feed of cockles. Um, just please take only what you need and then it'll all be here in 10 years time. Lugworms, ragworms, peeler crabs, whatever you go scavenging for. Yep, just take what you need. We're back down at Clyde Beach, hoping to get a few mackerel. I'm still on the mackerel quest. The ones I have caught I've either eaten or I've had to put them back because they're too small. But today we got reinforcements, that's my dad. He's having a go, see if he can help me out, put some bait in the freezer. He first took me fishing at Dungeness when I was about 10 and 35 years later we're still having a go. So yeah, hopefully we'll get a few winds um, blowing northeasterly. It's a little bit coloured on the edge but uh, we'll give it a bash. Well it's getting late in the day but I think he's got some on there. We'll go and have a look. Still on there? Two. Both undersized. Never mind. 